One of the biggest trends of 2022 in web design has been 3D. 3D objects, 3D animations, 3D scenes, 3D everything. And I think this trend will continue next year and probably many years to come. So today we are going to be experimenting with Spline and we are going to be creating one of those moving blobs together with a bank card all designed with CSS. All this for a hero section in Elementor. So let's get into it. So this is the landing page of Spline and Spline, as you can see here and you can tell, is a place to design 3D objects, elements, scenes and so on. And look what you can make and there's so much more that I need to explore and try because it's so interesting. But let's go on, let's make a blob in the meantime. Okay, so we are going to delete this because we don't need it. So before we start, I just want to give you a few tips. So for example, let's create the sphere that we need. So this is the sphere that we will be working with today. Let me just make it a bit bigger. Okay, so in order to, to duplicate this sphere, you will need to hit the command tab on your keyboard and press the left button of your mouse and just drag the sphere. So now you have two spheres exactly the same. And if you want to see this in a perspective, basically from all the angles, you just hit option on your keyboard and then the left button of your mouse and just drag the scene around to see. Okay, what I will do now is just delete one of the spheres because we only need one. So the first thing we're going to do is give this sphere materials. I will leave the color as is because that's not going to affect the sphere and I am going to give it a material, a normal material, that's how it's called and as you can see it's pretty colorful. <laughs> I will give it another material of this place and right now as you can see the shape has kind of distorted a bit but we are going to distort it even more and let's bring this until 60. And I'm going to give it a surface or type of perline. I'm going to also smooth out the shape. So I'm go going to bring it to a level of five and exit. And this is basically the first state of our shape. And in order to create an animation, we need to create a second state. So let's create a second state and let's go down and change the displays to a movement of 70. This will make actually the, the shape move. And I'm going to displace it to 100. And in order for this to happen, for the animation to happen, we need to give it an event. This animation is called a transition. So let's add a transition. And the transition will be linear with a duration of 20 and a loop of infinite because we want the animation to continuously loop. So let's see what we made. I think this is pretty. And we can always change this. We can, let's just increase the movement, no, the movement. I'm gonna increase the displays. Let's see what happens. And as you can see, the, the, the shape morphs. And it gets more interesting and we can even make it faster let's just go to movement and bring the movement to okay let's do it manually at 85 okay this is going to be pretty fast or not let's see if we bring it up to 100 20. What happens? I think this is much better. Honestly, I love this kind of things. I don't know why. It's like a tickle to my brain. <laughs> okay, so what we do now is export it. And how we export it? As a public URL and it's going to be an iframe. And one thing you want to do is remove the background color and change it to hide and also unfortunately you cannot remove the logo unless you pay for spline but if you think a little bit seven bucks per month is not a lot and you can just create that month a lot of elements and assets for websites and you can just cancel your account at the end of the month but that's an idea. Until then, you can just practice on the free version. Okay, so I'm gonna turn everything off. 
I will leave, I'm not sure what this is, but I will leave it on. <laughs> and everything else as well. And basically that's it. We just copy the iframe and we go to Elementor. Okay, so this is what we are building today. I think it's quite interesting. And yes, there is a watermark here, obviously, because you have to pay for spline if you want to use it as a 3D editor for your projects. But I don't think it's unreasonably expensive. And I am going to create a new container and I will add it in this container. So for this, I'm going to drag in an HTML element and just drop in my code and now we don't see it because the issue here is the height very small so let's increase the height to 670 pixels and I think this is the perfect size for the hero section this is beautiful right I'm obsessed with these things seriously okay what I'm gonna do I'm going to move this up okay so we are set here let's update this and let's move on to creating our card okay for this i'm gonna grab a new container and bring it in here and i will give this container a position of absolute and drag it in the middle of the animation more or less here i think this is okay and i'm gonna give this container a set index of let's say five so it sits on top of the actual animation. Okay, so I'm going to drag another container inside here and I will set this with a row horizontal because we will have two elements inside here. So I'm going to be adding an image element and add it in. And I am going to add another element, which is an icon. And let's switch it let's reverse this and let's give them some space between and let, let me just change it to something else okay i will change it to this and i will change the color okay and i'm going to duplicate this and delete everything that's inside and I'll set this as column vertical because we are going to add another two containers so one container is going to hold a heading and let's just add some random numbers here and another set okay and let's change the color And I am going to add another image in this container. And let's resize it a bit. And I'm going to add in the chip for the card. I'm going to give these elements space between and change the size of this chip because it's a little bit too big and let's duplicate this and simply delete the image and we are going to add here a name Mr. John Doe and I'm going to give this container a padding of minus 15 be more than that okay I think somewhere around here should be good Okay, all right, let's change the size of this container. I think this is okay. Let's change a bit the font size to 1.8. And I think this should be okay. Okay, that's very annoying. I don't know why it's blind does this on WordPress or Elementor, but okay, let's continue. Let's give this container a border. And I'm going to give it a border of two white and turn down the opacity. Let's see how it looks. And border radius of 15. All right, this 
taking shape, right? Okay, let's add the frosted effect on it and let's go to advanced and custom CSS. And this is the code. And let me just add a class here, card, new. And let's just close this. And nothing is happening because we need to add in here the class of card new and it's huge <laughs> we need to change the size of this card let's bring it down and uh, let's see still too big and i don't like that it's sitting right there okay let's bring it in the middle let's align everything first of all let's align everything in the center let me just bring this down and i think that's looking good but it's still way way too big and let me just change the size okay let me just change the size of this bigger and I think this is looking good but the animation is driving me crazy okay let's update and let's see what is happening and there you have it okay this needs to be aligned a little bit better okay I think this is looking really good I love it these are my two favorite things, frosted glass and animated blobs. <laughs> if you'd like to know what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time.